Good day, good day! How the honk are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right! <laughs> Guess what we got going on today? Yeah, we're still taking a look at this little gem. Yeah, I am just so tickled pink about this little bugger. Um, well, we got one more thing to kind of talk about uh, when it comes to this little bugger. Um, we uh, did an unboxing video. We took a look at the, uh, so this is the 65 Land Rover Gen 2 pickup. And we compared it to the... 1965 Gen 2 Safari and uh, the similarities and the non-similarities obviously and uh, we came to the understanding or whatnot that obviously these are two different castings and uh, which is just awesome although we found out that um, in the Matchbox um, uh, uh, Premium, they did a uh, Jeep one, or a, a Safari, uh, no, a Surfing. Surfing, it had three surfboards on the top. We saw that, and they stuck this in interior in that one. Uh, so if you want to check that video out, check that video out in the playlist. So the next thing that I would like to do with this little bugger is... Put it up to its little brother. Yeah, that's right. But bam How does this uh, 65 uh, Gen 2 measure up to which would be uh, the Hot Wheels Series 3 pickup? So this would be um, several years in um, the making. This is 65 Series 3, that would be uh, 70, that would be up into uh, 1970, 71, something like that. 69 was the last of the uh, metal grill, uh, 69 2A or whatever, uh, but 70, 71 would be the Series 3, where Land Rover introduced a lot of plastic parts, i.e. one being the grill. So... What do we got here? Let's take a look at the bases here. Um, virtually the, the same size, same wheel bases. Let me see if I can get them lined up. So virtually the same uh, wheel bases. Now you notice that uh, Hot Wheels does the uh, rivet in the back and then behind the axle, which Mattel does a rivet behind the axle, but they do one in front of the axle. So a little bit different um, there. Um, the size, uh, other than the wheels, and of course Hot Wheels has always got to be, you know, flamboyant, although these wheels look like they're about the uh, same size. Um, so let's uh, go back to the front here. So obviously the um, no more eggs on the grill for Series 3. We have them out on the wing. Um, you know, the Hot Wheels does an excellent job, This the uh, standard. Now, this is a regular baseline model, but they had headlights and the turn lights on the, um, on the wings, which was awesome. Uh, obviously, there is no tire on the hood or the bonnet, but you can kind of see that the, uh, what do we got, mustard and ketchup? We had yellow and red. <laughs> But they're uh, pretty much, um, pretty much the same size. Uh, it looks like the Hot Wheels might be just a little smidge bigger, but they're practically, practically the same size, which is, which is kind of cool because you know they're, they're supposed to be, you know, um, you know the virtually the same model. Uh, the Land Rovers themselves, um, the. Um, 65 um did have didn't it didn't it 65 do the barrel edge rolled the barrel roll like the uh series um series three would have so yes yeah yeah by that time um they did 
Uh, take a look at the back there. A little bit bigger, it looks like, on the uh, Hot Wheels side of things. Um, but uh, virtually the same. Uh, details, is uh, tailgate and everything. Um, got the grab handles there. Uh, obviously, Hot Wheels is not interested in towing stuff like Matchbox is. Um, but yeah, they have the uh, tail lights, uh, the basic model here, and uh, Hot Wheels versus the cool and vintage here. But the same side as the uh, license plate light and stuff like that, but then they do have a uh, Land Rover badge on the left. So yeah, uh, very cool. They had an added, Hot Wheels had the added orange Red, red and orange for the tail lights, where Maxbox just went with uh, red and uh, white amber. But, uh, but yeah, they both have uh, a uh, side mirror to them, which is really kind of cool. Um, it seems like the Hot Wheels has got a larger wheel arch. They really didn't have to go that far because these wheels uh, look pretty stock. I, I'm pretty happy with these wheels with the Hot Wheels. You know, but um, but yeah, very, very, very similar. Very, very that you could tell they're cousins, but uh, but there is some uh, size differences and stuff like that. But uh, very, very nice. I just had to just do a um, comparison of you know. Well, you know what? These aren't really apples and oranges here, are they? because we have this moving parts premium with rubber tires and we have this mainline. Uh, same basic vehicle, you know, just uh, several years newer. Um, but what we should really be checking into is this car is uh, retail at 549, something like that. So let's take a look at the Ba bam Matchbox, or the, excuse me, ba bam Hot, Hot Wheels Premium. So this would still be, um, this is a Defender now, this is not even a series vehicle. So uh, let's just take a look. Now they are both yellow, check that out, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the cousins that are same color. Uh, obviously the Defender is going to be a little bit bigger uh, truck than the uh, series vehicle, but you can see, uh, of course, Hot Wheels is crazy about their Hot Wheels, and they got a bit, uh, even though those aren't bad, they're still kind of big. <laughs> so let's take a look at the bases here. Uh, very, very good. They're staying, uh, I would say, within, uh, you know, um, uh, scale of the 109, you know. They are... Um, Pretty, pretty well matched up. Now this is a Defender 110, which um, took over the Series 109. So they just kind of rounded it up there. So uh, very kind of cool. Um, but still, Matchbox is winning out in that um, it has opening doors and the uh, premium uh Hot Wheels Defender 110. Yeah, it has rubber wheels and uh, die cast, uh, you know, metal base, metal body, but no opening doors on that. So uh, Matchbox is kind of edged out um, Hot Wheels there. I think that's uh, pretty cool. So these are, these I say would be head to head match, you know. Um, uh, although this does not have a uh, metal base, uh, it does have the um, uh, moving parts. So it really kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Mattel, Hot Wheels, and Matchbox have learned that uh, you can uh, make some pretty nice Land Rovers and sell them. I know I, I've done, I do see a few of these on the pegs. Matter of fact, just the other day I saw a couple of yellow ones still on the pegs. Uh, didn't pick them up, but uh, but yeah, I really seldom see any of the other ones. They really flooded the market with these yellow uh, rescue and search search and rescue Land Rovers. But but uh, yeah, they are uh, of course the numbers. Like I say, to buy these, man, they are so hard to find. They really need to produce more 
Matchbox. You really do. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Dollar for dollar, very, very comfortable, very, very nice, very, you, you can't beat them. Um, it's kind of a progression here of, uh, you know, the Gen 2, the Series 3, and then the Defender, um, the Defender 110. So that is kind of the, the, the uh, generations of, of how they, they grew. And uh, yeah, just just totally cool, just totally cool. I can't be happier as a little kid uh, collecting Land Rovers, I tell you that. <laughs> all right, all right, that's it. I gotta get out of here. Thank you for joining me again for another uh, look at the Land Rover stuff from Matchbox and Hot Wheels. Remember folks, have a great rover day and uh, slow traffic keep right. <laughs>